Hello Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn Earth signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who is feeling deeply for you right now and why. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 30th of April, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 10, 11 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were the finally guided to watch this video this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same sign all right now let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me for virgo taurus and capricorn who is feeling deeply for them right now and why <clears throat> No, I hate when my cards fall on the floor. Sorry, just wiping it. Okay. Mm. The fool at the bottom of the deck. So this person could be an Aries, could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius, Leo. Mm, can be any sign, okay? Wow, this person are signs of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Really does feel deeply, deeply for you because the lovers right here. So this person loves you. Um, I think both of you for some of you okay this could be like your best friend because two of cups is right here and not a pentacles can indicate reliability or you know just dependability of a really good friend that you can rely on that they think you that they could rely on you as well but for some of you the lovers here i just feel like there could be two people yeah two people who feel exactly the same for you one could be like your best friend and another could be someone that you're romantically connected with with the lovers right here okay they respect you they love you they care about you if this is a romantic partner the lovers indicates them feeling that both of you are meant to be with each other. Two of Cups, you are their soulmate. There could be a lot of um, similar things that both of you share with each other, okay? It could be your background. It could be traits, personalities. Or just, if it's not that, it's just both of you get along. Really, really get along very well, okay? So, Eight of Pentacles in Rob First. We've got the Five of Cups and then we've got the Ten of Swords in Rob First. But there's some sadness here, some disappointments that I feel like this person is trying to release. There's something that's occupying their mind. Um, maybe it's related to work or that they could be working and then thinking about you. Um, this person could also be disappointed with themselves okay either not putting enough work into this connection or not working it could be literally um hmm. but i see mostly um it's very positive so this person feels deeply for you for sure because again the lovers here they love you because if you're embodying the Knight of Pentacles, then they feel like you're somebody steady, somebody loyal, somebody um, stable, somebody they can trust, somebody they can rely on. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is the most reliable knight, honest, the most honest. Um, and for some of you, see, Eight of Pentacles and Resident Knight of Pentacles, maybe this is on the uh, on their end, on their part, where they could be a, like feeling a bit disappointed in regards of their financial situation or career, and you may have been there to help them, right? Nine of Pentacles here. That's just for some of you, that's very specific. Because Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's almost like jobless or no work or can't concentrate on work, while the Nine of Pentacles is 
somebody who works, somebody who works every single day or almost every single day, somebody who has some sort of a routine, very stable energy, okay? That's just for some of you. But if it's not about, if it's not related to work, I just feel like this person feels deeply for you because they know that you're always going to be there for them. They trust you, right? Again, the Nine of Pentacles is a very dependable knight. And we've got the Ace of Wands right here. If this is like a newer person as well, for some of you, because Ace can indicate something new, Ace of Pentacles can indicate something new. Maybe even if this is someone you have been connected with for a while, um, it could be them starting to have new, really good feelings for you, okay? But also this could be an indication of someone new in your life. So the Ace of Wands here, I sense this person feels like uh, very, very attracted to you or very inspired by you if it's a friend, okay? So hoping to maybe grow something out of this, build something because Pentacles, very solid energy, right? Ace of Pentacles. They feel like they're very attracted to you and they would like to uh, be loyal to you as well. They feel like they want to commit to you, wanting to offer you something tangible, something long term. And we've got the five of wands here in one first. I feel like both of you, if, if both of you have any issues at all whatsoever, it's usually easily solved, right? This person, or unless, sometimes Solar Cups, Ten of Swords, Inverse, Eight of Pentacles, in Reverse, Candy Cane, maybe if you separated from this person, they feel like they re really would like to make things right with you, offering you um, something that you want, uh, apologizing to you, ending the conflict with you, the Five of Wands, in Reverse. If not, if this is someone kind of new or everything is going pretty well, I do sense like, this person feels like both of you get along, both of you don't fight, rarely fight. If there are any misunderstandings at all, it could be resolved like very quickly or very easily. So I see this person seeing this potential being with you long term. If this is a friend, they see you constantly inspiring them. They see the value in your friendship, okay? Some of you could be friends with your person and also be in a relationship with this person, could be married to this person as well. Let's see more. Your mom feels deeply for you as well, the Empress here. But the Empress is also you, so it could be you. So this person feels deeply for you because you're so nurturing, so caring, so giving, um, so gentle with them. Yeah, all of these beautiful qualities of yours, I think this person really, really appreciates you, yeah? And the Knight of Swords here, Emma first, the Strength, Emma first. They feel like... Uh, they feel as though... Like they can be themselves around you, okay? They can be silly or that... There's some this energy of this very very easygoing energy with the fool here, or that this person could be an Aries. This person could also be looking forward to new adventures with you, or new ventures with you, um, new beginnings with you. There's so many new beginnings here. Two aces, and then these, this uh, fool here can indicate a new beginning as well. So some of you, this literally could be someone new. If not. If you've been with this person for a while, been connected to this person for a while, they have new feelings for you that are, are growing, building, really, really good feelings, I have to say. And then two of wands here and the three of pentacles and one first. This person could be in the midst of deciding something. See, the pentacles in one first here. They feel like you could do better or that you could be doing these things for other people or for yourself, but you're doing it for them. And the Empress is somebody, again, like on the highest, highest, highest top level, right? At your level, who you are essentially as a person or what you can bring to the table, you chose to bring it to them. So you chose to nurture this person so I 
feel again that they are very appreciative of you. Um, it's, it's this, there's this energy of like, I don't know what I did to deserve this, right? I don't know what I did to deserve the love and the care and the nurturing from Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Um, they feel elated, right, with the fool right here. And then that of sorts of the strength in one verse. They feel like you are the pillar of strength, right? Mm. And that they don't even, there is this energy where they don't even have to say to you something. They don't even have to say it to you. You just know. You just know. It's, it feels like you know this person really well, okay? Inside and out. Unless for some of you, there could also be someone who is very disappointed and sad because both of you are separated, right? This person may be feeling deeply for you because you have given this person a lot of things with the Empress here. Um, they feel like you deserve the best. They would like to offer you something, possibly wanting to reconcile, wanting to speak with you, but they're moving very slowly. And there's this energy where this person could be feeling kind of indecisive as well, whether they should move towards you. Um, there's a separation. Yeah, for some of you, there could be multiple people who actually feel deeply for you okay one could be someone you're separated from another is someone you could be currently connected with romantically and another could be like a really really good friend like best friend okay Virgo Taurus and Capricorn this is your reading I hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe um I'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below Feel free to subscribe to my other channel, Chelsea Vlogs. That is my second channel. Actually, it's my travel channel. I've started to post a little bit more often lately. So check them out if you want to. If not, it's fine too. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you would like to be notified every time when I post your videos. But customize it to your preferences so that I wouldn't annoy you because I do post very, very often. All right. Take care, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.